Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nugget Courses and this time we, the, we are talking about securing Hadoops. Uh, previous session we covered what is it, securing Hadoop, how the cluster interact with AD and uh, some uh, high level uh, pillar coverage around you know authentication, authorization, auditing. For today we will continue with the uh, security around Azure AD. So let's we move on. So we earlier we managed three scenarios. And this is the scenario number one, cloud only AD secure Hadoop cluster. In this scenario, you can see we are, you need a subnet, classic uh, version, VNet and ARM template with HD inside cluster for domain join. I need a gateway and I need my tenancy. The security side of that will all fall under the same, basically, uh, let's just say like a VNet. Let's we deep dive into this, what does that mean? Steps to create secure Hadoop cluster, provision classic VNet, provision Active Directory domain services, configure uh, secure LDAP for AD instance, uh, basically, which is in step two, create an organization unit and create a reverse DNS lookup zone for AAD and then provision your ARM VNet and connect the VNet to the ARM VNet, peering basically and provision secure Hadoop cluster in the ARM VNet. This is what how it looked like, and these are the steps. So we got, if you notice, you got two VNet, and you got the ARM VNet, and you got the classic VNet, and these are the steps how to create them. Moving next, uh, Azure Infrastructure Provisioning and Configuration Options. We have two options for provisioning and doing the configuration for Azure Infrastructure and Services. Provision and configure Azure resource manually using a script written by the HDI team to automate some of the steps. Uh, script is avail available to validate the AAD DS configuration. It will validate, you know, the reverse lookup for DNS. It creates secure Hadoop organization unit, and then create the ARM VNet and connect the ARM and classic VNet via peering. This is exactly what we covered in the previous steps. The scripts will generate a JSON output file that can be ingest by the portal or by, uh, you know, the portal uh, via AZ as well. Secrypt does not create HD inside cluster. Here's a difference. Secure Hadoop cluster can be created in three ways. Portal, GUI experience, ARM template, preferred method, or PowerShell, which is the, you know, um, AZ, AZ or PowerShell self, which you can see the command in new AZ RM, HD inside cluster, that will create for us there a cluster. Now, I'm just going to go through the steps one by one to do cover this area. Let's recover this area more details. So uh, step one is provisioning a classic VNet. These are the steps, you know, virtual network through the search bar or through the all resources. And then you can assign the creative VNet, assign a subnet, and you can see the ranges are predefined by yourself, like slash 16 or whatever you are after, as long as enough to cover your requirement from node perspective. Then I move on to step number two. I create the Azure AD domain surfaces. Again, uh, Active Directory, a new app surface, AD directory, custom create and create. Then I move on to the next level, which is basically create an AD tenant. And then again, uh, click on custom create, complete AD dialog, and then create the checkbox and then choose the uh, region. And then uh, that should be basically uh, it. Uh, now, a quick recap, we did the VNet, we did AD Active Directory, and we did the tenants. We did three things. If I move on to the next level, which is basically doing the configuration for my tenant, what I need to do and how can I do it? I create an AAD, uh, AD admin group, enable AD domain surface, uh, update classic VNet DNS settings and configure secure LDAP and create Hadoop secure in the OS via the domain surface. And then last part is the DNS uh, lookup. Let's have a look at this in more details. You create the AAD uh, group. Basically, you can create the group. Special permission will be required for the IAD admin. Member of the group can be granted a privilege of the domain join machine. Group are automatically added, added to the local admin. And member B will be able to RDP. I mean, I've, we highlight for you this in uh, the warning. You must create a group with this exact name in order to be able to access Azure AD domain services. Yeah, it has to be exact name. AAD DC administrator with S basically. Yeah. Next is 
adding users to the AAD DC administrator group, which we created in the earlier steps. And then next, basically, we will uh, add uh, the users and then we will uh, do the configuration for our domain services. We will provide the managed domain service like domain join, group policy, NTLM, Kerbos, and so on. Avoid deployment on management of domain controller to the cloud, integrate with Azure AD tenant to enable the AD group. And last thing is user submit work cluster using AD credentials. And you can do ODPC for the HDI cluster. That's all what I have for you for today. Hopefully we learned something useful around the AD integration and AD customization. I shall see you in the next session. Goodbye for now.